Well, here we go. The winner will face Skimbo in the finals of the Madden Classic. And if you're going to kick it straight down the field, kicking it out of the end zone is a good start. That's the move. We saw a huge return in our last game. None of that here. Straight out of the end zone. Way to get it going. Maybe you get the ball to the 25-yard line. A lot of people won't even bring it out. But you never know with those spin moves where you can go. So first and 10 at the 25. Dubby's going to start with the football here. You like the green uniform? I don't know. It didn't work for Tweez. But it's easy to see your guys out there. I'll say that. The reads are a little easier. And we're powered by Xbox and the Seahawks. They're from Seattle. Microsoft's there. Green uniforms. It all works. So 3-4 under on defense. You see him utilizing RB. What that does, it actually allows you to go through, cycle your defenders, and get some players into good positions. He'll be moving some guys around, trying to get them. KJ Wright, we talked about. He's one of those key players, getting him in a good spot. Pressure, zone coverage, some big hits. Gun doubles, and it's picked up by Bobby Wagner. Come on, he all of it. And that was KJ Wright go, gets in Wags. the backside. Jesus. Bobby Wagner catches the pick, and everybody Dude, is shocked that this one happened. The edge rush, KJ Wright, Wagner, steals it. Call him Honus Wagner. Looks like he was fielding a center field ball. Just wow. Only you and I know who Honus Wagner is. The, yeah, no one watching card? this has no idea. Except he's the most expensive baseball card of all time. <laughs> they do have Google now, though. First and 10 from the 15 after the big turnover. A wild interception by Wagner, who basically took it away at point blank range. Joe goes to the flats, Jimmy Graham. And Dubby does a nice job holding him to two yards. And that is the key to everybody's defense this season in Madden. The flats can be open, but the defenders close down so quickly. So you have to consistently be willing to take three yards, four yards, maybe break a tackle. But those flat zones play tremendous here. Up under center, he'll audible to the gun. He's got to get to the five-yard line, just shy of the five for a new set of downs. Realize the play we just saw, Scott, that was unbelievable. I'm still stunned with that Wagner interception. And Rawls reaches for the first down, and they're going to give it to him. So first and goal from the five. Welcome to the dead zone. Dubby containing, trying to keep Russell Wilson in the pocket. Joke not falling for the trap. Spy was up the middle. He says, you know what, I'm just going to check down nice and easy, make it a manageable first and goal. Power O, Bobby Wagner making a play. This time for Dubby. Got to hold him to three here. That's a, that's a turnover you're not expecting, but if you can hold him to three here. It's basically similar to like fumbling the opening kickoff. It's about the worst way you can start a game and put you a possession behind. We saw Joke in his last game against Stevie say, if you turn the ball over once, the game is over. I don't think he'll have that quite the same confidence against Dubby because he knows he will fight, but that's a bad way. Goes a ice so weak here. Mm. We've seen those two plays from him in the last game in the wild card stage. He's either power owing or he's going the weak side lead. Third and goal from the four. Opening drive here for Joke that started at the the interception, and it's going to be fourth and goal. you got to take the points. Yeah, I remember, Joe, he talked about the run game, getting those yards. Bobby Wagner just filled a gap right there, tracked down Thomas Rawls. Three carries after the turnover, no yards. That's a win for Dubby to hold Joke to a field goal. It's not in field goal block. Just chilling in regular seven, defense. Seven, 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 seven. Well, there's a certain point inside, you know, really inside the red zone where going for the block could set you up for a fake field goal. So he's not taking any chances. Of course, that would take some serious wavos to fake it in a semifinal game. We've seen some big fakes from Skimbo last year. I think he got one off against Kiv to start the game. But not here. Just the easy three. You take the turnover. You cash it into some points. But Scott, remember what I, I always say. Every time you kick a field goal, you get four points closer to going home. So while it's a win for Joke, you really want to cash that in. Scott Cole along with Zach Farley. We're here in 
the lower half of the bracket, semifinal number two, winner will face Skimbo in the finals of the Madden Classic tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. 3-3-5 three, three, on defense. Three down linemen, three linebackers. Notice how he's spreading those guys out wide. Trying to ID that mic off the left side, right in front of Doug Baldwin, and then he's hanging on Bobby Wagner. Wilson will scramble and take it to the 29-yard line, and this is just not the start that Dubby needed. Now, he did a good job coming up, going right up the middle. The edge pressure was probably going to sneak its way in. Got to get some more yards, though, in that situation. Third and sixth, though, you're good, but then it becomes potential fourth down where you have to make a monster decision. So let's just take that off the table if you're W. You got to get your first down here. Get some confidence. Get some momentum going. High snap. Wilson. He will run it and slides down for the first down to the 38. Maybe that'll get the mojo going for W. That's great stick work. You see it a lot of times from players. When they scramble, it means they don't have anything else up. But when you're W, you are still making your reads, you're making your progressions, you know it's there. It, there's a difference in a high-level player scrambling actively versus a player online that you can easily shut down. Joe has to take so much else away that he has to sometimes give up that run to Russell Wilson. Handed to Thomas Rawls, and Rawls will move to the 31. Be on so many outlets tonight. NFL Network, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Mixer. Tonight at 10 p.m., 7 Pacific. I've been up there to Seattle, Mixer Studio. Cool place, man. Sweet stuff. Second and seven in Richardson. That whole Microsoft campus. It's Microsoft College. And that place is... It's their college football record right now. <laughs> they field the team. They're undefeated. That's yeah. all I know. I don't know the record, but I know they're undefeated. Trailing by three is Dubby. Ball at the 43. 27 seconds to go here in the first. Standing right on that classic logo. That means head-to-head -head teams. All right, go to play now. Head-to-heads if you want to. Like the old school. You know, Pick you just load it up school. on the couch and make it happen. Online, head-to-head, -head, regular team, grab them. Maybe go Seahawks, Falcons. Maybe you go a little Stevie J, mix the Vikings in, see what you can do. It's a good way to play. Different play clock. Hey, you ride or die with those Minnesota Vikings. Hey man, sometimes you fly a little too close to the sun. That's the that's the only three teams we've seen. Is the Falcons? Potentially, Packers used to be pretty hot option. Like the defense isn't quite there, but obviously when you get Aaron Rodgers on the field, you know you're going to get accurate passes. I think the Chiefs would be an option with Eric Berry. It's all about Jesus. what you're comfortable with, and this time. Pass pro Scott, we talked about it. Cliff Averill just made quick work of the line. Nobody in the backfield there could pick him up. He couldn't escape out of there. He was able to at least step up so he didn't take too many yards on the sack. But third and 12, you are now in four down territory, so you got to make this one easy on yourself, even if you can't pick up the whole thing. Needs to get to the 33. Third and 12 for W, already trailing by a field goal. And he's got to get rid of it. He tries to scramble out of the pocket. Had the wheel over to the left, didn't have time to step up and throw it. He was trying to just get out of the way, but could not fit it in. Contain rush there from Joke, hung to the edges, and then one guy slipped off from the right side, chased Dubby out of the pocket. So much pressure on him here on this fourth and 12. He wants to be an icon in the batting community. He said it, he's a leader. He's won a championship. He wants another one. He wants to prove to everybody that he is the greatest. He's got Skimbo, who's going to have to listen to if he doesn't meet him in the finals. These guys would have a blast in the finals tonight. Yeah, either way, either of these competitors right here, it's going to be a great final. Fourth down, got to throw it. And it throws seven, it into seven, coverage. And there oh. is Richard Sherman. Avengers, baby. Avengers. Sure, but I don't know. I'm not a comic book guy. I do like the mutt heroes that are out there. Uh, I do have that Richard Sherman. I won't he, lie. He had to force that one. A little bit of an arm punt. He did make the throw, but it's a good play by Joke to lock it up. Three minutes, 45 seconds to go. He spent so much time with the ball against Stevie J that that's the type of drive he needs here. I would say even if he cashes in three, but it's the last, the, the field goal is the last play of the half, you get ball after the half. You're feeling really, really good about your chances with how well you've held W so far in this game. He doesn't have an answer for that pressure. He's not getting the pass pro. He's not escaping Russell Wilson. 
It's been tough. CFW will dial up some pressure. Coming out the left edge, throws it in the coverage, and it bounces back to Jimmy Graham, who dropped it. Cue the Benny Hill theme. My man told me, click on whole wild That was wild. I've seen some wild ones. This time it just harmlessly falls through the turf at incompletion, third and eight. Such a tight window in these zones in this game, especially the Seahawks. Good tackle, boy. And then it's KJ Wright forcing him out of bounds at the 45-yard line, a gain of zero. Had the route coming across the middle, decided to check down underneath. Couldn't catch it and loop it upfield. That's a good throw there. It just gets the tackle, gets a bad animation. Fourth and eight. Big play. One. Joke. He wasn't open. He ain't catching that. So ain't catching so that. He ain't catching that. And, and that's, a, that's a pro move by W. You say, why doesn't he click on and make that interception? Well, because he's got the ball at the 45 now. W claims he's second level. That's a second level move. Just let it fall harmlessly to the target. Joke saying that was open. Cam Chancellor kind of the only guy that was wide open on that play. He did have the playmaker, but the playmaker's more of a six-yard play than an eight-yard eight yard play because he runs laterally to the line. Under three minutes to go in the half of the semifinal. Huge for Dubby. He has second life, man. He's got second life. He's got to find a way to get it going. If he goes out to that trip set to the right, that's his bread and butter. Jesus. He's in Skimbo's bunch. Skimbo says he's running his stuff. Skimbo's watching his guy. Wants to see if he's going to be in the finals on the NFL Network with him tonight. Rico over there playing Candy Crush. Cr crushing candies. Both on the phone and at the <laughs> desk. I'll, I'll just say he's doing his he's doing his best, Come Adam Schefter on, over there, keeping up with all the goings on around don't the community. You see a little hole, I'm out. If I see a hole, I'm out. I'm out. I don't got time to sit here in the pocket. You see, I don't even go for that life, man. <laughs> Third and six. Boy, Dubby needs to get something going on offense here. It's tough sledding, but he's got such an opportunity here on this third and six. Joke will get the ball to start the second half. Let's go! Oh, man. Jeez. What I'm interested in is he's heating Joke up a little bit. We just heard that exchange between the two. Joke hadn't been that animated. I think he knew he let an opportunity get away. He was up three with the ball. That can sometimes fire him up. But getting that stop on third and six maybe puts him back in a calmer place. You go from third and six to fourth and 17. Couldn't get rid of the ball. Well, it's the unicorn and Madden. It's a punt. It's a not a very good one. Just nets 32 yards. So Joke will have it at the 17. He's got three timeouts and 156. You always say how highly skilled these guys are. All the adjustments they make. The punting has not been great here. Day two at the Classic. That was tier zero punting. That was core elite punting there. Second and nine. Got a defensive battle here, and you can see the yards. Joke with only 15 yards. Earl. But he did have a turnover. Earl, and Earl Thomas! Hey, I told you! Perfect timing on the pick, and now I mean, Earl's got to outrun time, Jimmy Please. Graham. Oh, he's wide open. That's not he's Earl's wide game, open. but wide open. He's wide hey, open. one interception aside now. We got an even game here, 91 seconds left in the half, and he's in field goal range. Earl Thomas break on that football. Not one Seahawk, not two Seahawks, not three Seahawks. Four Seahawks in the area. Earl pops it up, says, you know what, tip drill, I'm just going to catch it myself. And gets a very nice return down into field goal range. 1.30 to go. Dubby is oh, hanging bad. by a thread in this one without the offense. Joke has had good Double offensive boost. balance, but Earl Thomas, you cannot throw it, Earl. And there is Lockett on the slant, and he'll get to the 19. If you're Dubby here, you'd love to get a touchdown, but you got to make Before sure you get three. Places. Yeah, with Joke getting the ball after the half, you really want this one squared up. You're more and more, you're seeing his plays, you're seeing his reads, you're relying on your defense. Time, just think about how can I get some of this pressure picked up. My halfback Thomas Rawls, he's not getting it quite done. Wilson's not quite escaping. Needs a route. Going up gets that nickel. 3-3-5. He's gonna call an audible. Hand it off to Rawls. Had a nice block up field by Lockett. Get to the 11. And we'll have a timeout here from Joke. 
335 Tampa 2. So tough. You've seen it online. Wow. You've played it. You've faced it. Pressure from the left. Deep zone in the middle. Can't go deep. Can't throw to the flat. You don't pick up any yards. Great user in the middle. Not a lot of time. Very, very difficult defense to beat. And there is Thomas, Thomas Rawls inside the five to the four yard line. Don't let the colors up top confuse you. All green is Dubby. He's the home team. He's trailing by three and he's trying to take the lead. Love that he got through there. Didn't get in, but that's okay because it forces Joke either use some timeouts or let the clock run, and now Dubby has to find a way. Skimbo found some plays in the red zone. Their lab partners, does he have some he some hotness to get to Jimmy? Five Thomas Rawls is fighting! And he gets in there for six! Is that Mike Tyson or Thomas Rawls? <laughs> that dude is fighting out there. Delivering some knockouts right up the middle. Some good work to get in. Thomas Rawls has been an MVP, Scott. Throughout these events, we've seen it in every mode we've played Madden in. Whether it's Buck Allen. Remember him a couple years oh, ago? Yeah. D Jones. You've seen guys like Darius Bo Jackson get the job done. And now, it's Thomas's Rawls time to shine in head-to-head -head teams with the Seahawks. He's putting on a show. There's Lockett. Can't get away. Bottled up at the 19-yard line. That was a huge score for Dubby. He turned it over in his own territory on the first possession of the game. Held Joke to three, and now gets some points off a turnover on an interception by Earl Thomas. And if you're Joke, this would be the time if you have Jesus. something to bust it out. But this should be elementary for Dubby. Second level stuff, if he's able to just take this to the half, not give up anything. He's staying in a regular defense. Joke tried to draw. Nine seconds left in the half. Joke's down at one timeout. He'll run it again. Delay to Rawls. And he'll have an opportunity one for one more play. Not too many backbreaker routes this year. There's some posts. You need time to throw them. You need you know, maybe an ultimate team so guys get open a little bit easier. And he'll just run it and hope for a little stick work. He won't get it. And that's how the half will end. A defensive one in this one. We've had two turnovers. And now it's 7-3. to W with the lead. And we will go right through halftime. I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed the fast pace we've had here in the semifinals. He's got the fans on more and more NFL action. Come on, I need a book. He continuously updated this stream six. to give guys more games. They said no countdown clocks, none of that. We're going to give you action. We're going to keep games moving. We're going to make sure every competitor gets on the big stage. We do one game at a time sometimes. We do two games at a time sometimes. That's what you guys are here for at the Classic. We're going to show you as much badness as we can. It's been fun, partner. Come on. And we got a good second Come half on, here. Alexander. Coming up. Put your head on the swirl. Put your head on the swirl. I get a little less face time, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Gibbs couldn't make to this event. We drew straws to see who had to get a crappy haircut. I drew, I drew the short straw, <laughs> so I'm representing against Gibbs by having a horrible haircut today. Hashtag less farls. Trending out there Cam, on the Twitter sphere. Come on, man. Take that dumb shit. And Lockett drops it. And so we got a big third and six incoming. I'm reporting that Joe could go nuclear, nuclear, <laughs> nuclear after this drive because he's had this game. He now nuclear. needs to move the chains on this drive. Dubby's starting to get some momentum. He's starting to get some swag. Third six, throws it to the outside. There's Jimmy Graham. And we mentioned him, the top five notable players for Seattle, and that's why you mentioned him. He's an absolute beast. Throw to the flat on third and six. Rack it upfield with those new steerable rack catches. Critical for Joke to trust that. Rawls will get to the 34. Loses a yard on first down, second and 11. Earl's, Bunch to the right. Earl's way down in the box. And Graham will walk the tightrope to the 47 yard line, and that'll move the sticks. I knew he played hoops, but I did not know he was a ballerina as well. Great agility from Jimmy Graham to stay in bounds and move the chains. He's agile. He's a big fellow, but he's agile. And there is Lockett at the 42 in plus territory. Now Joke's on a roll. That's a hot one. That's what that's called. He threw it earlier. It got tipped, bounced around. 
This time he fits it in. Russell Wilson delivers the strike. And that's where you got to attack this defense. Delay to Rawls. It's caught up on one of his linemen. That's number 78, Luke Jokel, out of Texas A&M. Had a lot of community guys come through. I've been asking for their advice. Master Gamer, who was a star yesterday, he's been telling me if they can fit this corner route in behind those ones, you have to trust the throw, but if Joe can make that, it's going to open everything else up, and that's what he's done so far here. Finds Lockett, possession catches at the 25, so now he's in field goal range. In field goal range, but he needs seven. Well, trailing by four here with three minutes left here in the third. This is semifinal. Winner places plays the reigning Madden champion Skimbo. We won it all last year. Let's see if he goes back to the corner. And there is Lockett. He'll make a move and he'll get into the end zone. Pop it and lock it for six. Nominee, Z Farrell's play of the day. <laughs> The quick drag underneath, Dudley backs it up, yeah. and Joe on, let's relies be on those I need drags. We're we gonna stare at it for three seconds. Come on, just take it out. Just I, move. My finger just don't get tired. Move. My finger just don't get tired. I need this point, bro. I ain't gonna get a touchdown. I won't try to block you on you try to block mine. Listen, bro. Ah, damn, Dudley. I needed that point, bro. I'm out here struggling, man. I need the point. Madden players got no class. No, no class, class, man. I'm, look. Madden players got no class. Yeah. My man tweets told me it's kill or be killed. No class. <laughs> But he plays serious. Mo in the building. Beast mode. Mac. Tremendous stick work. Nine play, 84 yard championship drive, Scott. Joke was in the Final Four last year, the championship. Played problem. Was in control of the game before just giving it up in the fourth quarter. And now he's back in control again. An amazing drive. But now he's got to lock up Dubby. He's been doing it so far this game. I think that could be in his head a little bit. I've been in this position before. Hopefully it helps him on this drive. Dubby struggling a little bit here on offense. Finds Lockett though. Boy, Lockett has been big for both these competitors. Yeah. Russell Wilson now three for five for 43 yards and an interception. That pick, get that out of the way early. <laughs> Then make it real ball, early. Not going to turn the ball over any further. That route to the inside for Lockett has cashed in a couple times, and he's managed to hang on to it, which is good. Joke was throwing the corner routes. Let's see if Dubby goes back to those. Those were huge for him during Madden Bowl. Or if he continues to be able to pick up the pressure using play action, Rawl staying in the backfield to block. Motions out, Baldwin to the left. Wilson can't escape the pressure. And that's the rookie Griffin coming Jimmy off the Graham's edge. Still Good defense. Rawls got hurdles Jimmy on that Graham's play. We've all suffered this fate so far this year. You see Damn. the defender come in, hop right over him, and that's what Dubby talked about before the game. He needed that pass protection from Rawls. Didn't get it. Trying to go low on the cut block there, and now here comes a big third down. Dubby's offense. I mean, he was begging Ooh. for a field goal. When Joke was kicking his extra point. He said, I'm probably not going to get the TD. I need the field goal. Little play action. Has time in the pocket. And he forces that one in there. And that is Richardson, who came all the way back from the middle. Wow. Sheldon Richardson. One touchdown. Come on. Sheldon Richardson, the deep tackle from the Jets. They traded Curse for him to start the year. In joke, users the deep middle with the DT, the year of the user as it was proclaimed. I'm thinking about it. Wow. Sheldon Richardson only has 71 speed, but he made his way back on that one, and what a huge play. That's a bad ball. That's a touchdown. And now Dubby's gonna need a stop. Scott, you gotta think maybe some target. Maybe you know, none of these guys have mastered the target <laughs> pass. I think it's very difficult. He could have lobbed that one over. That is a TD. That's the tender spot. But Richardson getting back underneath. What a play from Joe. Dubby hasn't played well in this one, especially offensively, but he's only down he's by three there. points. Both these guys have played some really good some defense in this shit. one. And that's the name of the game. They both know the bunch very, very well. They know what they want to do to stop it. They've seen each other. They've all been to these events consistently. And it's paying off, this research, this labbing. 
Uh, switch the bunch here on third and ten. Big play here for Joe. Dubby plays coverage. Wilson has Bang. time. Bang. And a nice job by Averill off the edge, who got loose. And fourth and 21, get your punt on. He's got those corner routes, man. Nine for 13. He didn't want to throw it, though, with the lead. When he was on his drive earlier, he fit two in very tight windows. He didn't want to take that same risk. It wasn't quite open. Dubby locks up and gets the ball back. Good tackle. Well, this is it. Five minutes, 27 seconds left in this game. You want to be an icon, you want to be on NFL Network, you want to go to MaddenChampionship.com, start playing in competitive Madden. This is where it begins for Dubby. Right now on this drive, you want to play your boy Skimbo on the finals. One drive. We saw Skimbo with one drive to get to overtime and then win the game. Now we need to see if we saw Joke after the half with that one drive. Sheldon Richardson? Will Dubby get that? He's still thinking about Sheldon Richardson. Sheldon Richardson? So this wild, is going to take it to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. Madden guy move here. Just let it run down to the fourth quarter. Just a couple dudes on the couch playing some head-to-head -head Madden. Nothing, I mean, what's on the line, Scott? <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. 100 grand. Bros. A couple bros hanging out. Winner gets 25,000 of this opening major in the Madden 18 season. We call it the Madden Classic. Second and three, head-to-head -head mode. And Wilson with a quick throw to lock it. Three interceptions, so he's completed every pass. He's four for seven, but he's got three picks, so technically he hasn't dropped one yet. <laughs> 42 rushing yards to 49 rushing yards. Joke said that was going to be the indicator. More of Joke's yards have come from his halfback, whereas Dubby's yards have come from his quarterback. Nice job picking up the blitz. Russell gets out of the pocket, oh, on, and Wilson hey, will spin his way. That's Russell. That's dangerous. Russell. And he gets the first down because he fell on the defender and rolled forward 11 yard gain. Power move, hug the guy, roll him <laughs> over the first down, let Dubby pick it up. I don't like to see him take the hit there. He's confident Russell Wilson's not going to fumble. I don't know. Wouldn't be so certain after seeing some of the earlier plays where he's dropped one. Gun doubles again. Where you bring out every trick in the book. And he sends Graham up the middle. I was about to tell you, on a flanker dig, he right loves the audible Graham to a streak. It hits him. And Earl Thomas broke on that one, and Jimmy Graham said, You know what? I'm hanging on to this football. We need it. It's a direct quote from Jimmy Graham. Loves that flanker dig out of gun doubles. In field goal range, cannot risk another turnover. He's got three picks in the game. Cannot afford another one. He's got to run this ball, get the clock down, see if he can punch it in for a touchdown without any time. He can't give the ball back to Joe. Those guys are three timeouts. That's going to be tough to do. Rawls gets caught up at the line and gets the spinning, twisting animation down to the 25-yard line. My Mobbing least favorite low. animation in the game. On low. But also my favorite if you're on offense. <laughs> it's always good to see if you can get a couple more yards. And Thomas Rawls, man, he gets all the animations. This guy is great. I got to look at him in my salary cap lineup. Oops, oh no. Second and six. Oh no, oh no. Yeah. Cliff Averill is out there just eating. Three sacks now. Tremendous defender. One of the reasons you pick the Seahawks with Averill, Bennett, get Sheldon Richardson. You don't even need to rush Sheldon Richardson. You just drop him in coverage, apparently. That's how good those other two guys are. Third and 11. Joke bringing some more guys down in the box. Two and a half to go. Cannot take a sack because you don't want to get pushed out of field goal range. Notice how he's really stepping up in the pocket. And he throws oh, one to Baldwin. Oh, Go for it. Please go for it. Please Fourth and four. He's got to kick a field goal here. Go he please, could go please. for it. If you recall please it, Madden Bowl, Dubby no, on fourth and one against Skimbo please had a chance go to kick the field goal to tie the game, and he went for it. He threw corner struck to Randy Moss Should for the bread. He says all the time, I could not live with myself if I didn't make that decision. Right now he's going Madden guy move, letting it click down to the two-minute warning. 
I'll let you get a touchdown. I think he needs it because he doesn't think Joe can score. Of course, Doug Baldwin, a big oh, Madden a player himself. Solid joke, man. Solid joke. I had to beat him while his fiance man, was walking, watching I, at the Microsoft store in Seattle. Angel. And we got a tie game here in the semifinals. Time to I'm not sure. All right, it's time. Well, I make the whole block load. It's time, Earl. Let your pops know. It's time, you know, Earl. Send the cops know. I talked about it earlier. Oh, not 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 when not Joe gets nervous, time, he starts Earl. busting rhymes. No, 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 no. Well, those guys talking back and forth at that two-minute warning before Dubby tied it up at ten. I mean, you have Joe already had one monsterly successful drive after the half, and now he needs it one more time. Only needs the field goal to really win this thing and send him on to the finals to take on Skimbo on the NFL Network tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific. Oh, well, there's Pro I mean, Come on. That was a missed tackle by Cam, on, Cam. Chancellor. You got to be careful here. You see Dubby moving so many players down in the box. You don't want to give up a, a bomb here late in the fourth quarter. He's stuck on the corner. And he finds Lockett underneath on a playmaker move. So with under 90 seconds to go in this one, Jokes on the move. Yeah, Dubby got stuck on the corner on the outside. Joke used playmaker, which puts his receiver right in the middle of the defense. No user there to defend it. And an amazing read to get back in the middle. Dubby's got to get those adjustments in faster. Joke, quick snap. There's Thomas Rawls. We'll take it to the 47. I would say he needs about 12 yards. Yeah, he almost shot through in the run game. He's about half a step behind. We'll see if he can catch up. Sorry, We're gonna get off sides. And Joke accepts the penalty. Madden guy move with that much on the line. Tonight's final, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, NFL Network, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Mixer. Just search Madden, because it's gonna be a big one tonight. I'll be there, Scott, all I wanna know is who's coming with me. It was actually offsides oh. on his cornerback when that hurry up, they got caught up over there on the left side. He accepted it. And so now we're at the 37. It's a 54 yarder from there. Sometimes a Madden guy moves to decline. Sometimes a Madden guy moves to accept. With yeah. this much on the line, you accept. We are 90 minutes away from the final. He is on the edge. This is going to be a high pressure scenario here, Scott. You want to get a couple more just to feel confident. You could probably make it from this area, but it's going to be a very tough kick. W with his timeouts. Still got one. Second and nine, ball at the 36. And he will hand it to Eddie Lacy. And Lacy. I've seen him tear up a buffet, but that time he eats it all the way down to the 19. Eddie Lacy comes in for Thomas, Rawls, and breaks the biggest run of the day right up the middle, gets the first down, puts the clock in Joke's favor, and now he sits a field goal away in 25 seconds from the finals and the Ultimate League. He's in field goal right here. And there's the timeout. There's the timeout by W. Wants him to get that ice. Tough, tough, tough here for W. Well, it was the interception on the opening drive for W. And he's been struggling ever since. Gonna take a knee here, run it all the way down to two or three seconds in joke. He's been in a final before. He's gonna have to face Skimbo. He's gonna take the timeout. He has not, he's been offering his opponents, <laughs> don't block my kick. Come he on, really is gonna offer that right now. Logo. Please, please, please. Well, Dubby needs it. He needs a block. Joke. Needs a field goal to win it. This will send him to the finals tonight versus Skimbo. It's a 37-yarder for the man from New Jersey.
And it's up. It's down Main Street and Joke is in the finals. I don't say it's an upset. You could say you upset a Dubby who is number one seed on this side of the bracket. But the truth of the matter is the interceptions is a bad offensive game from Dubby and Joke took advantage. Great defensive game. What a battle between those two guys. Lots of respect after the game between the two veterans in the community. And Joke keeping his composure after getting that early turnover, but not cashing into as many points as he would like. Put on two superhero level drives, one wow. after the half, and one just to get that game winning field goal. Masterful management of the clock. Went back to that vintage Joke possession defensive formula, and he's found himself a spot in the finals. It looked really good. Adrian's down there with a winner. I am indeed. Congratulations, Joke. And you were facing Dubby, a very experienced competitor. What gave you the edge? Uh, anyone could have won that game, whoever got the ball last. I, I got a lot of stops, and he would stop me right back. I played pathetic offense. If I want to beat Skimble, I, I got to play way better offense than that. And it was a very intense game. It really came down to the wire. How was your heartbeat? Uh, I was kind of scared to kick that field goal. I was going to let it just go down to three. And then something in my head just said, just kick it and don't look. Maybe you won't, you'll make it. You won't block it. And that's what I did. Luckily, he didn't block it. Good thing. And now you're moving on to the final. You are going to face Skimbo. What are your expectations? He runs the same offense as W, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to contain it. He plays the same way as W. So if I play good offense against him, I think I'll come up on top. Congratulations again. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dave Enrico.